Welcome back to our series on tax compliance. Today we're diving into an essential topic for both tax professionals and taxpayers alike, tax professional responsibilities. Whether you're a tax preparer or simply interested in how tax compliance works, understanding the standards governing tax practice is key. All right. Tax professionals are subject to a range of standards and regulations that guide their conduct. These include AICPA's Code of Professional Conduct. Conduct. This code outlines general ethical standards for CPAs, including independence from clients, due care, and prohibitions against false advertising and signing false returns. Statements on Standards for Tax Services, SSTS. These are specific guidelines for tax professionals that cover everything from tax return preparation to the use of estimates. IRS Circular 230, this set, so this set of rules applies to anyone practicing before the IRS, including CPAs, attorneys, and enrolled agents. It governs things like submitting records to the IRS and providing tax return advice. ST, SSTS number one, tax return positions. Professionals must ensure that any position they recommend or prepare for a return has substantial authority which means at least 35 to 40 percent chance of being upheld if challenged by the IRS. SSTS number two, answering questions on returns. Tax professionals should make reasonable efforts to obtain all information necessary to answer every question on a tax return. Number three, use of estimates. Professionals can use estimates when preparing a return if it's impractical to obtain exact data, as long as the estimates are reasonable. Procedural aspects. Professionals are allowed to rely on information provided by a client without verification unless something appears incorrect or incomplete. Number five, changes from prior positions. A tax professional may recommend a return position different from a prior year's as long as it follows a current standard. Error discovery. If an error is discovered on a past return, the professional should inform the taxpayer and advise him how to correct it. Number seven, tax advice. Any advice provided to a taxpayer must be based on sound judgment and be communicated clearly. In addition to SSTS, Circular 230 is another important set of regulations. Circular 230 applies to all tax professionals practicing before the IRS and covers record submission requirements, rules on contingency fees, guidelines for tax shelter advice, and standards for recommending tax positions. Tax professionals must always ensure they follow these guidelines to avoid disciplinary actions, such as suspension or being barred from practicing before the Internal Revenue Service. Both tax professionals and taxpayers face penalties for noncompliance. The IRS can impose civil penalties like fines and criminal penalties, such as imprisonment for tax evasion. Common civil penalties include failure to file return, negligence, providing false information for tax professionals, Failing to meet standards, such as recommending a position without substantial authority, can result in penalties under Section 6694. Taxpayers can avoid penalties if substantial authority supports their position or if the return position has a reasonable basis and is disclosed properly on the return. In summary, compliance with these standards is critical for professionals. The key to avoiding issues is to maintain due care thoroughly research tax positions, and always act in the best interest of the client while following legal and ethical guidelines. This understanding helps tax professionals navigate their responsibilities and ensure they're not only providing accurate service, but also protecting themselves from potential penalties.